Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today we'll be studying the superior vena cava and the thoracic duct. Let's begin with the superior vena cava. Now the superior vena cava is the major venous channel that drains deoxygenated blood from the upper half of your body into the right atrium. Now let's talk about the origination, course and termination of the superior vena cava. So to know basically the course of the superior vena cava, it is necessary to know the various bony landmarks. This is the manubrium. This is the entire sternum. This is the heart. All of these structures that you can see, these vessels and the heart are lying behind this thoracic cage. This is your first right costal cartilage. This is your second rib uh, with its second costal cartilage. And this is the third costal cartilage, right side. This is the sternoclavicular joint. You can see right here forming with the manubrium. So what exactly happens is that normally, at the level of sternoclavicular joint, let's talk about it. The internal jugular vein on both right and left side, the same story, the internal jugular vein is going to fuse with the subclavian vein. These two join at the level of the sternoclavicular joint to form the brachiocephalic veins. All right, the brachiocephalic veins are formed by the junction or the union of the internal jugular and subclavian veins. On the right side, it is formed as the right brachiocephalic vein. Left side is the left brachiocephalic vein. After that, what happens is the left brachiocephalic vein goes towards the right. And at the level of the first right costal cartilage, the left brachiocephalic vein and the right brachiocephalic vein is going to unite to form your superior vena cava at the level of lower border of your first right costal cartilage. Of note is that it's on the right side. The superior vena cava then pierces the pericardium at the level of second right costal cartilage and finally enters the heart at the right atrium behind the third costal cartilage right side. So these are the important landmarks that you should know that at the sternoclavicular joint, the brachiocephalic veins are formed. At the level of first right costal cartilage, the superior vena cava is formed. At second right costal cartilage, superior vena cava is piercing pericardium. And at third costal cartilage, it enters the heart and terminates. Its tributaries are the azygous vein, which enters its posterior aspect at T4 vertebra. And we have studied this before. Apart from this, there are several small mediastinal and pericardial veins that drain into the superior vena cava. The important clinical of the superior vena cava includes the blockage of superior vena cava before and after the entry of azygous vein, which I have already taught you in my previous videos. I will post a link down below. You can go check that out as well. Now let's talk about the thoracic duct. The thoracic duct is a major lymphatic channel of your body that is going to drain both right and left halves of your abdomen and only the left half of your thorax. Who drains the right half of the thorax? Now we will talk about. The thoracic duct is a 45 centimeter long tube which is beaded in appearance and it begins at the level of T12 vertebra from the cisterna chyli. The cisterna chyli is a lymphatic organ of your abdomen that has collected a lot of lymphatic from your intestines, etc. The cisterna chyli gives origin to the thoracic duct, which then immediately enters the diaphragm through the aortic opening. Once it enters the diaphragm, it enters the thorax, it will run from T12 to T5. And once it runs up to the T5 at the level of T5, now let's imagine there is the esophagus right here. It runs, it enters the diaphragm from T12 to T5 where it is lying right side of your esophagus. Once it reaches the level of T5 vertebra, it will cross towards the left side, from right to left side of the esophagus. And it stays at the left edge of esophagus up to the level of C7 transverse process of the left side where the thoracic duct will arch over this transverse process and finally end in your left sided angle of where the left internal jugular is joining with the left subclavian vein. 
that's where it will open and drain into the obviously what lies here at their union the brachiocephalic vein it eventually drains into the or opens up into the brachiocephalic vein and that is how it terminates so this was the origin course and termination of your thoracic duct along i have also mentioned a little relation of your thoracic duct let me go through it again the thoracic duct is a 45 centimeter long tube beaded in appearance which is a major lymphatic channel which drains right left halves of the abdomen and only the left half of your thoracic wall. It is going to run from the level of T12 to T5. First it enters the diaphragm through the aortic opening. It passes from the right to the left side at T5 level after which it runs along the left edge of the esophagus at the level of C7 when it enters the neck it arches over the transverse process of C7 and opens up into the angle this is known as the angle where these two meet or in the left brachiocephalic vein and drains lymph there so what does thoracic duct drain the thoracic duct basically drains left side hence it mostly receives lymphatic trunks of the left side so the lymphatic trunks of the left side are three the left subclavian trunk the left jugular trunk and the left bronchomediastinal trunk that we studied in lymphatic drainage of the lungs the question is who is draining the right side of your thorax that is simple similarly there are the two internal jugular and the subclavian veins over here the only difference is thoracic duct is not draining here the right bronchomediastinal trunk the right jugular trunk the right subclavian trunk all of these are going to be draining into right lymphatic duct so right here the right lymphatic duct is formed right lymphatic duct which is going to play a similar role as to the thoracic duct on the right side draining all of these and it also opens up in the angle into the right brachiocephalic vein so that was mostly all about the drainage of your thorax and Spirina Keva. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment. Thank you so much for watching.